Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Vintage Sports Card Finds, and today I'm doing a hockey video. I don't do a lot of hockey videos, but this one I think well warrants a video. I recently made a purchase for $90, $94, $93, something like that, with taxes, shipping, and all of it included for a lot of 128 1972-73 tops hockey. Now, I was extremely close on this set to begin with, but there were some cards missing. And I noticed that this wasn't just any typical lot. This was a lot with some stars in it, which is always my favorite kind of lot. And we're going to go through that right now. And we're going to try to identify if any of the cards um, are big cards and which ones might be needed. So let's start right at the beginning. Card number one, this is a Boston Bruins Stanley Cup card. I may need this. So there's, there's that. Um, these cards are in fairly nice shape. And I'm hoping that whatever cards I was missing, we're going to end up with here. Ed Van Imp, Knoyer, Salaps. So there's already three semi-stars right, right off the bat. Reg Leach. You can see these cards are, are sharp. You know, I mean, they're not perfect, but they're easily excellent plus. Excellent to excellent plus. There'll probably be some BGs mixed in. Boom. Marcel Dion. So this is what I'm talking about, right? Let's flip this over. And we'll see if this is... I don't know if this is rookie or not. This, this may be. This may be. I'm a, I'm always super bad at identifying rookies, but boom. Tony Esposito. Rough, rough, rough uh, trim. Some rough corners there, but I might need Espo. I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to do a follow-up video on this video. Um... Once I see what I need and what I don't need. Uh, but I wanted to do kind of like an opening video of, as I'm going through it, uh, as I'm going through it, who's in here? You know what I mean? Almost like, hey, you know, I, I, I didn't check. I'm sure when I bought it, there was a list of numbers I think this seller included. But... I didn't compare it to my, my list. That wasn't really kind of my main focus. My main focus was if I can buy this at a reasonable price and these cards look like they're in pretty nice shape, I'm going to buy it. And then I'm going to see what I need. And if, if it ends up that I, you know, there's a Wayne Cashman. So for Bruins fans, that's a big one. And for NHL fans, just in general. All right. Gary Unger. Just trying to go through these and see uh, if there's any superstars or anybody who's going to hop off the page at me. Uh, and kind of a you see it when I see it type of thing. Just Jean Rattel. So that's a good card. Don't know that I need it, but but and and then of course the other benefit here is that I, I like this lot enough where the condition was strong that I was thinking, hey, I might be able to upgrade some cards in my set. 
Uh, I was real close on this set, so we'll see if this helped us, if this helped me finish it. Stan Makita, it's another good card. I don't know if I needed him or not, but certainly. And, and in this case, this looks like a scenario where I might be able to piece out some cards uh, that, you know, I'll, I'll sell some of it as a lot, and then I'll be able to piece out some star cards to help make my money back. All right, so here's a, a nice one. You got Espo, Bobby Orr, and Jean Rattel on the assist leaders card. So that's a real, real nice card. Let's take another look at that. A little bit cl applying closer inspection. Strong corners. That's a that is a nice card. That is a nice card. You see, there's the edge. There's some edge damage, but other than that, you know what I mean. For a, that corner, maybe a little bit wrinkled at the bottom right, but that that's not a bad card to have. You have Bobby, an earlier Bobby Orr card. I mean, it's not a base, but it's a nice one nonetheless. And I don't. These cards are in such nice shape. I don't want to drop them, so I'm going to put them up here with the already inspected pile. We got Labette, Lorenz. Gillies Malosh. It's Jill, I think, but those Canadian names, you know what I mean? Tom Miller and Bobby McMillan. And now we get the second half of this lot. So I'm not going to lie. There was some good players. I know there's, there's you go. There's you go. There's you go. Uh, Guy Lafleur. Guy or Guy the Flower, Guy Lafleur. Uh, he's a Montreal Canadian. Reason enough for me not to like him, but really nice card, right? It looks like it could be a rookie of Guy Lafleur. So you pick up a Guy Lafleur rookie card, possibly. Um, and and I'll hit that. As I go on the follow-up video to this one, and I'll tell you it's a follow-up video to this one because what I plan to do is, in fact, um, look at the set tonight, and I will tell you it's a follow-up video that goes into more detail into that particular set. I don't do that a lot with hockey, but with older vintage hockey, it's certainly worth a go because... Hell, there's a lot of really cool, great players from the 70s. Um, and and some of those original six teams. So, and you get cards like this. So, when you look at this, if this is Guy Lafleur's rookie, which by all indications, it suggests that it is. But, because there's only one year of stats on the back. All right? But... I'm not familiar enough with hockey to know whether or not Opeachy released a card of his late in, you know, 70, 71, 72. I don't think so, but I don't know that. So this is a nice card to have. But if this is a Gila Flair rookie from Tops, certainly maybe probably a first Tops card. I don't know that either, but I'm, I'm guessing here. And I paid 75 cents for it. So to me, that is that is the beauty of buying in bulk. And if you're patient, you can really find some great steals on eBay. Rod Rod Gilbert or Gilbert. Uh, so some more commons here. Jacques, this is such a cool card. Now. <laughs> I remember this card from when I was a kid. Uh, now I didn't. Now I certainly am not old enough to bu have bought these packs. But when I was collecting hockey in the in the mid '80s, I somehow at some point got a a card of Keith Magnuson in really off condition. But what a perspective for a hockey card! 
just really, really interesting. And this one is off condition as well. You see the crease there. But this is just such a an interesting card. Um, especially based on what they were doing at the time. You know what I mean? Dunk Wilson. I mean, I know hockey pretty well. Um, but not so well that I know exactly which years are rookies. And of course, the Opeachy factor sort of always makes that a kind of a toss up. Pitt Martin. There we go. Now, I already own this card. I know I own this card, but there's the base Bobby Orr. It's got a crease in it. Another one there. So, not a terribly great Bobby Orr, but it is a Bobby Orr. It's an original Orr uh, from 72 73. I know mine is better uh, than that, but, you know, Bobby Orr. Uh, if you throw that into any lot online, that's going to be a winner. You know, and someone's going to buy it to own the Orr. You know what I'm saying? So that's always a nice lure when you're trying to sell a lot with quite a few commons to have a better player kind of anchoring that down. I mean, right? Vic Hadfield, Arnie Brown, and Ross Long Lossberry. And one more batch to go. About as long a hockey video as you'll probably ever see, except the one I'll do that relates to this set. Gary Smith. Terry Harper. So now you come to the All-Star cards. So there's the Tony Esposito All-Star card. So there's some staining there at the bottom. I don't know if that's wax stains. Looks like it might be wax. That can be removed with like a nylon or a dress sock. On the surface, not on the back. On the surface, you can sort of get rid of that wax staining on the front. Jobert. Ken Dryden. So that's Ken Dryden. It's an all-star card. Certainly a key player from that from that era. Probably one of the better goalies up to that point. Pat Stapleton. Jean Rattel. Canoyer again. Backstrom. Fred Stanfield. Let's see what else we got in here. Got any more... Surprises, Ron Harris, Bill Flett, Alex Del Vecchio. So this is a nice card, certainly a legend of the Red Wings. That's a good looking card. John Provost, some surface issues there. DeJordi. Rick Martin, this is a good card for the Sabres. Let's see what else we got. Ron Ellis, Jude Drone, the Atlanta Flames, that's very cool. Mickey Redman, Joe Watson. Brian Hextall, which we talked about. Uh, I saw uh, someone else doing a video on this the other day, and uh, they wondered if he's related to Ron Hextall. So I will uh, also ask that question. I don't know what the relation is to Ron Hextall, if any. Ed Westfall, New York Islanders. You can see some tops airbrushing of... Um, cards even in hockey Kenny Dryden so here's a Kenny Dryden base some dinged up corners but 
it appears to be crease free. And that's always a plus. So this is a strong VG card. Now it has a little edge issues there. Has a little edge issues as well, but not bad for what it is. Burt Marshall. All right, Dennis Hull. Another good card. This one is very strong. See the uh, condition of this card? Tipped corner there. Some edge stuff, but nothing crazy on this card. Great player and such. And then we'll finish it up with these last two players, Barry Gibbs. Uh, I do believe there's no relation to the Bee Gees, Barry Gibbs. But you never know. All right, so that's it. The 72-73 uh, Tops Hockey. It's a nice slot. A lot of Bruins missing, but the key Bruin was in there in uh, Bobby Orr. Um, not only the Bobby Orr, uh, base, but a Bobby Orr, uh, league leaders card, the Boston Bruins Stanley cup champions card. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to look at my set. I'm going to see if this helps out that set right now. And I will do a follow-up video on that set because I think it warrants it because there's enough good players in there and key guys to look at it a little more in depth and then see which cards I'm missing because I know I'm fairly close on that set. And that's a nice one I would really like to finish. It is a set I've been building for a while in this very manner, the way you saw me try to build it today, which is buying lots and filling in with better cards as I go. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, and um, please comment, share, like, subscribe. Um, if you wish, hit the notification bell if you wish to be updated for every single time we upload a video on this channel. Um, I want to thank you, all the subscribers, uh, for your support. I hope that I'm doing a good job in terms of providing information. The objective of this channel is very simple. The main idea is and always will be how do we, is the strategies for how to collect cards, uh, do it on a reasonable budget. Um, do it on a reasonable budget and and to try and offer insights of how to do how to do stuff uh i'm always asking you guys questions because uh i'm always looking for insights as well i don't have all the answers i hope i'm doing a good job i hope you enjoy the content um i know a lot of you are baseball guys I I love all the sports, or the four major sports for sure. And uh, so on this channel, there is going to be that diversity of, of sports. But again, uh, predominantly baseball is going to dominate. But there is going to be videos like this that focus on football, hockey, and basketball when I score a nice lot of, of cards from that sport uh, because I love them all. I want to thanks again. I want to thank all the subscribers again. Uh, everybody who watched, just hit it a nice thumbs up. It really helps us out in the algorithm. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, happy hunting. Thanks, guys.